Good evening, everyone, and a warm Seahawk welcome to the many UNCW baseball fans who have joined us here today to honor one of college baseball's icons. To be good at anything for many decades is truly an accomplishment. Mark Scaff has been great for many decades, not only as a coach, but also as a father figure, a mentor, a loving husband, a father, and now a grandfather. He has treated his players like family, and there's so many of you who are here today. Coach Scalf is a Hall of Fame coach and a Hall of Fame human being. Thank you all for being with us as we recognize Mark, Allison, and their family for their unselfish commitment to UNCW for more than three decades. It is now my pleasure to introduce our very special guest, the Scalf family, UNCW head baseball coach, Mark Scalf, Mark's wife of 34 years, Allison, Mark's father, Bob Scalf. Mark's daughter, Madison, her husband, Drew Wingo. And their daughter, the first granddaughter of UNCW baseball, Adeline. And Mark's daughter, Jordan. We asked the city of Wilmington to help us with this uh, honor here today, and I'd like to read a proclamation on behalf of Mayor Bill Sappho, a UNCW alumnus, a tremendous advocate for our great university, and an avid Seahawk fan. So if you won't take but a second, let me read this for you. Proclamation, Mark Scalf Day. Whereas the Wilmington City Council recognizes Mark Scalf for impacting the lives of more than 1,000 players during his 28-year career as head baseball coach at UNC Wilmington, and whereas Mark Scalf has coached the Seahawks to nine regular season championships in the Colonial Athletic Association and five CAA tournament titles, Whereas Mark Scalf has directed the Seahawks to nine appearances in the NCAA Baseball Regionals. Whereas Mark Scalf has coached 130 players who have earned all conference honors and 82 players who advanced to the professional ranks. Whereas Mark Scalf is UNCW's all-time winningest baseball coach and the winningest coach overall in the Colonial Athletic Association. Now, therefore, the Wilmington City Council proclaims May 18th, 2019 as Mark Scalf Day for Wilmington's citizens. Now, if you would please direct your attention to the Dactronics display near second base, I'd like to throw it up to Brooksfield, PA, announcer Ken Swarthout to introduce a unique recognition in honor of Mark Scout. Good evening, fans, and thank you for being part of this special occasion as we recognize and pay tribute to head coach Mark Scout for his many contributions as head coach of the Seahawk program. Over the last three decades, Coach Staff has guided the program to great heights amassing more than 900 career victories, including nine CAA regular season championships, five CAA tournament titles, and nine appearances in the NCAA tournament. Coach Scout's impact on our program and the game has been immeasurable. A seven-time CAA Coach of the Year honoree and five-time ABCA Regional Coach of the Year selection, he has molded Seahawk baseball into what it is today, a national caliber program built on pride, character, and integrity. But Coach Scaff's contributions can't be measured solely by numbers. He has been a true role model, mentor, and friend to many. 
Now, please direct your attention to the area near second base for a video presentation. It was the summer of 1991, and Bobby Guthrie was stepping down as head coach of the UNCW baseball program. With an experienced background as a player and assistant coach with the Seahawks, Mark Scaff was the natural choice to take the program to the next level. I kind of got to a point uh, in, in my career where I felt like I needed to do something else and felt like that UNCW needed something else. And the thing I knew was UNCW needed Mark Scaff. But Mark Scaff is just a uh, fantastic individual and, and so that that changeover to me was just an automatic. It had to happen and, and I think you, you have certainly seen the results of it. Mark was so excited. I mean that is just his his dream is to be the head baseball coach. So to have it here at UNCW where he graduated and I also graduated here, it was fabulous. In nine years as an assistant coach and 28 more at the top of the dugout, Coach Scaff has lifted the program to the national stage. His career accomplishments include more than 900 wins, nine CAA regular season championships, five CAA tournament titles, and nine NCAA appearances. As coaches, Mark Scaff and I went head to head many times with the Seahawks and the Wolfpack and the Gamecocks and um, it was always a very competitive game. His teams were always so well prepared. I loved the opportunity to visit with him and I loved the competition of the game. Anytime anybody thinks of your teams, uh, they think of um, gritty players. Um, I think players always kind of take uh, a little bit of uh, the way their coach goes about his business and just a, a blue collar guy and somebody that um, did, it, did it the right way. Uh, worked for every single thing that um, it was ever um, given to them there at UNCW. All those wins are earned uh, because of you and the way you've gone about your business and because of that the players have uh, responded and always been the type of kids that you want to coach. Over the last three decades, to no one's surprise, UNCW's teams have taken on the character of their popular head coach. I think he inspires his players by being the, the man that he is. There, there's no doubt. I mean, the husband, the father, always on time, always loyal. He, he's, he's never backed down from anything. That's a challenge. And I just, I just think his players see that. I know I did, I know we did. You know, I see it more that I'm older, but you know, you, you see that in, in a guy that's, that's an even better person than he is a coach. The first thing that comes to mind about UNCW teams is how hard they were to beat. <laughs> yeah, they, are, they were very, very tough. They always played hard. Uh, they always played aggressive. They're always very talented. You know, you could look at their position players. They're, there was an unbelievable mix of, of power guys in the lineup and also speed guys. They met, had multiple ways to, to beat you. Uh, and it seemed like every, every pitcher they ran out there was a guy who was running it up there good with a good slider. Uh, they, were, they were really, really tough to be. Mark, thinking about uh, your teams and uh, what things come to my mind when I, I think about your teams is the incredible battles we've had. The tremendous respect I have for you, for your staff, for everything about UNCW baseball. You, you are UNCW baseball and that's how I'll remember you. You know, th th those teams you had, the competitiveness, the fire, the passion, all the things, they resonate from you. Coach Scaff's legacy will be one of excellence, integrity, and class. Attributes that will live on as the program continues to grow and evolve. Coach Scaff's meant so much to me uh, as a person. You know, my relationship developed. He recruited me out of high school and then a few years later gave me my first opportunity to coach in college baseball. And he always treated me unbelievable. He always treated me like he wanted to be treated. And a guy who treats everybody like that, um, a guy who has uh, unbelievable amount of integrity and does things the right way all the time. Coach Scaff has made an indelible mark on college baseball. He's a coach that has done it the right way for a long, long time. He's been dedicated, he's been loyal, he's been a Seahawk forever. He's impacted so many student athletes. He's the epitome of what a young coach should look for as they strive to be a Division I head coach or at a higher level. While baseball has certainly been a key part of Coach Scaff's life, it has always taken a back seat to his faith and family. And sometimes they have even intertwined. 
Um, always. I always have something to say or I ask a question and I'm like, well, why didn't you do it this way? Or why didn't you put so-and-so in? Or why did you put so-and-so in? And, you know, definitely my two girls, they're, they ask many questions. And um, Jordan actually, for years, has made up the lineup for the first game and he never uses it but it always comes around where he does use it. Sooner or later, he'll use it during the year. In a program steeped with history, Coach Scaff's name will be remembered with the legendary Bill Brooks as ones that have stood the test of time and meant so much to the Seahawks and college baseball fans everywhere. Dedicated, dedicated to um, UNCW, his family, his faith, I mean, he. He's, he's dedicated, hard worker. There are so many words to describe him, but I think dedicated, and it shows how long he's been here. Surely with a guy that has, has you know, over 900 wins, could, could be a lot of places right now. But he loves to be a Seahawk. He's always loved to be a Seahawk, and this is where he is, and I think that comes back to being dedicated to this place. Mark, he is, he's definitely going to miss being on the field, coaching guys. That's his love. That's what he loves to do. Um, I think if he could coach and just coach and coach forever, it would be just his, his dream. And from all of us around the country, uh, as head coaches at the Division I level, uh, you've set the bar high. Uh, college baseball will miss you. Uh, I love you. I love your family. And uh, we'll forever be thankful for Mark Scaff and the UNCW baseball program. Thanks, Coach. At this time, at this time, it's my great pleasure to call to the podium the commissioner of the Colonial Athletic Association, Mr. Joe D'Antonio. Well, thank you, Jimmy. Chancellor Sotterelli, thank you for having me here today. And Mark, certainly congratulations. It's a pleasure, it's a privilege and a pleasure on behalf of all the student athletes, all the coaches, and all the administrators in the CAA to be here today for this great honor for you. Not everybody, Mark, gets the opportunity when they go to work on a daily basis to have a positive impact on the life of young men or young women. You've been fortunate in your entire career to have that opportunity. There's been a lot of wins. There's only been a couple of losses, I think. <laughs> but what's most profound, by far in my opinion, is the impact that you've had on the young men you've coached. Not only have you had that opportunity to make that impact, but you've seized it at the highest level. And for that, congratulations. So if you could come up, Mark, we have a small token from the conference presented to Mark Scalf, May 18, 2019, in sincere gratitude for your leadership and the positive impact you've made on CAA baseball over the past 28 years. On behalf of the many student athletes, coaches, and administrators that have directly benefited from your dedication, we thank you and wish you all the best. Thanks, Thank Mark. You, Thank you, Joe. Let's go, let's go across and get a picture.
At this time, I'd like to ask Associate Head Coach Randy Hood to step to the podium for another very, very special presentation. Coach Hood. Thank you. You all right? Yeah. All right. Hang it in there right now. Um, this is an awesome occasion, um, but before I'm going to get into anything I'm doing, um, our ride's not over yet. Uh, we got another week. And if, and if people know how we play in the tournaments, we're going to play for several more weeks when it's all said and done. But, um, I look out across and see a lot of former players, some that were before Coach Scaff, some that he coached before I got here, and a lot when we've both been together the last 18 years. And um, you saw in the video Allison talking about coach liking the coach. And, you know, the thing I'm going to miss a lot is those practice days on the practice fields when we used to have one in this corner and one in the backfield and the turf field. Uh, Coach Love bunt defenses a whole lot. <laughs> Coach loved to go over first and thirds a whole lot. Every day. <laughs> but that's the type of thing when you talk about well coached being fundamentally sound all the time. And that's what Coach Scaff's all about. Um, 18 years ago this August, he gave me a great opportunity and one I'll be forever grateful for. Um, before we get into this presentation, you heard Allison talk about the girls and everything, but they do really make a lot of decisions. In the UNCW baseball family, girls dominate a lot of decision making throughout the years. In our office across the street, Coach Scaff, his office is kind of on one end, mine's on the other. Every day late in the afternoon, I'd hear his door close. I'd start working a little bit to make sure it looked like I was busy, because I know he was walking down towards me. He'd get to the end of the door, what you working on? Just checking some emails, cleaning some things up, coach. All right. Coach, what you doing tonight? Well, Allison wants me to cook for the girls. Well, what you going to cook? I don't know. But as we wanted to give him a, a gift from the staff and the players and the support staff that are involved with this 19 team, we went to the girls and got their opinion. And they told us that he's been cooking on an old grill for a long time. And as Madison said, it's not cooking at all. So what we decided to do was get together and get him a nice new pit boss smoker grill. And what we'd like to do is present that to you, Coach, and hopefully in your retirement down the road, you can get after it and cook some good food for them and have some good meals. I have one of these, and it's awesome, so you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Thank you for everything. time the 2019 Seahawk baseball team and their parents present Coach Scaff and his wife Allison with gifts from the players and their families in appreciation for the dedication, unconditional love, and guidance they have given to countless student athletes throughout the years. The countless hours Coach and Allison have given to the program and their playing sons, many times putting baseball ahead of family, will not be forgotten. Allison has shared her husband with UNCW Baseball for many years, sitting through many games and always greeting everyone with a pleasant smile and kind words. Coach and Allison have sacrificed a great deal for their baseball family. They have truly been parents to the players here on campus and often placed their playing sons ahead of their own family. On behalf of the 2019 team's players and parents, we present to Coach and Allison a travel voucher for the destination of your choice. Please enjoy some well-deserved time together. Young coach staff, who will probably try to use this travel voucher to go to a major league ballpark to support a former Seahawk. 
Thank you both for all you've done. We're proud of you and wish you the best of luck in your retirement. Fans at this time, please turn your attention to the left field fence for another salute as Coach Scaff joins the luminaries of Seahawk baseball in perpetuity. Mark, uh, we've done all the talking, and uh, we'd like to bring you to the podium, please, Coach. Thank all of you. As all of you know, that know me, <laughs> this is tough. You know, first off, Coach Brooks, Coach Guthrie, Paul Miller, Dr. Charles Cahill gave me an opportunity. They gave me a chance to run a program something I'll never forget, and uh, it's been a great ride. Blessed to be a part of this university for 40 of the last 43 years as a player, assistant coach, head coach, and I'll maintain that. I'm gonna remain a part of this university. We're gonna be around here, we're not going anywhere. One good thing is I get to sit in the seats <laughs> or on the berm and sit with all you folks that love to second guess. <laughs> you know, I met my wife here. We raised our kids here in this town. My daughters came to school here. Couldn't ask for a better community to raise a family in. My dad and mom encouraged us, they encouraged us to pursue our passion. They instilled a work ethic second to none, taught us compassion and the importance of relationships. They allowed us to grow from our own failures and successes, yet they were always there to provide advice. We knew there were always consequences if we didn't make good decisions, but they were always there for us. Dad, love you. Those life lessons, you know, I've tried to hold on to and hopefully instill some of those same life lessons into the young men that have played in the program. You all have done way too much for me today. Many of you sitting here today have played a big role in the progress of this program. You've contributed financially. You've encouraged players. You've been present at games. You've cheered them on. You've been great friends to me and my family, my staff, and the young men in the program. 
I've been fortunate to have some outstanding assistant coaches through the years. And we've had some outstanding young men through the years. And those young men show up and they want to get better. They want to develop. They want to be the best players they can become. They want to be the best people they can become. And you all have had opportunity to be around many of those, see many of them play. This group of young men have given us all they've got all year. You know, we've had, we've had a tough time from time to time. But as most of you know that have seen us play, you've seen us play at a regional caliber level, and you've seen us stink it up too. But they've grown and they've, they've gotten better, they've matured. They knew going into last weekend we had to win four out of six games to get into postseason. And they got it done. You know, without your help, your financial assistance you've provided from time to time to get various projects completed here, without the support of the administration, with them allowing us to, to do some things that we'd like to do to improve facilities, improve our program, improve our scholarship budget, those type things, you all have been a big part of where we've come from. When I took over as head coach in 1992, we had three scholarships. We had an old chain link backstop here that was starting to rust. It was a beautiful place that Coach Brooks had built back in 62. But we needed to improve some things. And now we have the best facility in our league, absolutely, hands down. And we've got one of the better facilities in the country. And we want to continue to improve that. We know that we've got some issues here. All you women know we got issues. We got two stalls in the bathroom. <laughs> but we're going to continue to try to make some progress and, and make some improvements around here. And uh, we're going to need your continued support. Need you here at the ballpark supporting these young men. And I look forward to, to being a part of that. Um, I can tell you the program's in great hands. Coach Hood and his staff will continue to move this thing forward. They've got energy. They've got passion. They've got a vision. And they'll continue to work. And the young men in the program will give you everything they've got every day. I look forward to being out here and getting a chance to watch and see the progress of all these young men and, and our new young men that will be coming in next year and the following years. I want to thank all our former players. You guys made it special. Fortunate to have a lot of good relationships. Before I fall, slam apart. From my family to all of yours. Thank you for a lot of great memories.
Thank you, Mark. Mayor Sappho has arrived, so I'd like to ask uh, him to come to the podium, please. <laughs> Coach, you came on right when I was graduating, and you have done an outstanding job for this university, our university. I just want to say thank you for your public service to this community, and thank you for your public service to this great university and to all the men that you have coached through the years. You have been outstanding, and God bless you and your family. Thank you. We do have a very special announcement today. We're making a proclamation of Mark Staff Day in the city of Wilmington. And the proclamation reads, whereas the Wilmington City Council recognizes Mark Scalf on impacting the lives of more than 1,000 players during his 28-year career as head coach at UNC Wilmington, and whereas Mark Scalf has coached the Seahawks to nine regular season championships in the Colonial Athletic Association and five CAA tournament titles, and whereas Mark Scaff has directed the Seahawks to nine appearances in the NCAA Baseball Regionals, and whereas Mark Scaff has coached 130 players who have earned all conference honors and 82 players who have advanced to the professional ranks, and whereas Mark Scaff is UNCW's all-time winningest baseball coach and the winningest coach overall in the Colonial Athletic Association. Now, therefore, the Wilmington City Council proclaims May 18, 2019 as Mark Gaff Day in the city of Wilmington, North Carolina. Congratulations, Coach. Job well done. Ladies and gentlemen, we encourage you to consider helping to perpetuate Mark's legacy by contributing to the Mark Scalf Baseball Scholarship Endowment through the Seahawk Club. Also, please mark your calendars for another special night of recognition, Saturday, October 12th, when we'll honor Coach Scalf and his family with an evening to remember in the Burning Center. It will give all former players and friends working in professional baseball an opportunity to return to campus to show Mark and his family their love and gratitude. Mark, we're almost done. <laughs> You've been a guiding light for college baseball. Your respect for the game, fair treatment of all competitors, and love for your players is widely recognized. You have set an example for others on how to play the game with great integrity and impeccable character. Your impact will be long-lasting on each person you've touched in the game of baseball throughout your distinguished career. That will be your legacy. We wish you all the best in retirement. <laughs>